when you let the, the mass of the club go up and then fall down, it's got some momentum to literally drive through the rough effortlessly, right? So I've got a 60 degree wedge here. And all we're gonna do is show you how we got him effortlessly to pop that ball airborne. Now, I got him here to allow the mass to fall forward, not, look, look at my hands, drive forward. So I got him initially just to do it one-handed. Feel the club going up and then just falling down onto that golf ball. Now I got him to do that once or twice, because obviously every so often, and I put in a horrible lie here, every so often he would get a bit tight, wouldn't trust it, but once he started to trust it, these balls kept popping up one-handed. Let it relax, and all you're doing, you try to feel what both hands need to do when you finally put them both together. Allow the club to up, fall down on that ball. Not look, drive forward. Look how it naturally just pops up.